Okay, well, let's see. Let's put more towards the research right now. Okay, yeah, we want to do this. Yes, the 200 MPP. A big hit, but we want it to be in Italy. And we'll save that. Points. Can't upgrade there yet. All right. Well, I just want to keep moving around the map here. Yeah, moved off of the thing. There we go. Nobody there. Okay. Well, it didn't hurt us, I don't think. So. Yes, we will end this time. Okay, well, I wonder where they are on the path. Should we develop spying intelligence, intelligence level 1? That's really good. It only develops ground attack. This level 1. It develops logistics level 1. Yay, Italy. Okay. Maybe Italy will be fearsome one day. Don't laugh too hard. Hopefully that's costed them.
Definitely have a bigger air force coming in. Uh oh. Is thinking. French mom proves after initial chocolate blitzkrieg. Okay. Yep, they still got Paris. We're moving up units, but the uh, regular infantry units stuff to seize them better. To assault them better, maybe I should say. Okay, Italy, or Germany, Italy, and Japan signed the tripartite pact. So they've got some of the basics of Third Reich events here. But nothing like I could do for them. Alright. Not sure what the purple intelligence was. Push by the Moscow lines. That's more useful. Okay, um, I was hoping we could put them out there, but oh well, um, we'll put them here. Alright, well, oh, we attacked them, they're not there. Damn. Cause these army units just are not good at attacking Paris, which is understandable. There we go. There we go. That's good. Well, I should suspect this basically does it for France. Again, I say suspects. Don't know. Not gotten this far. Enough. Hey, Django. How you doing? That's cool. Heat up. Yeah, so far, most of my offensive options will hunt the Italians against the British aren't looking very good. But still, we can fight a defensive war.
No. No. Here. There we go. Control right on the top one. Um, mode. I'm going to turn you over to interception mode. I'm going to start moving you guys this direction. Now, purchasing. These are fairly cheap. I don't know how many I'll need for dealing with France. Um, I want to do, I think, research for Italy here. production technology. Well, logistics, which they got one level one. Yeah, let's do that. I'm definitely an infrastructure person. In Germany. Well. I want to do more advanced aircraft. So. Not, I don't think I'm going to attack too much more because I sort of kind of think they're done. Hopefully that disrupts some of their supply. And here are these guys. They won't be able to get out of port. No, well, might as well. There's reasons not to, but let's end the turn. Yeah.
Better for worse, we're ending it. Also, Paris impacts British morale. French morale suffers from the fall of Paris. Yes, it should, would, did. It's French morale low and their military soundly defeated the newly appointed Prime Minister Marshal um, Marshal Pétain is willing to sign an armistice with us. The terms of the armistice dictate that we will be piloting northern France while the French government will continue to operate in operate from Vichy in southern France. Pétain has also agreed to maintain internal order and defend the remaining French colonies, including French possessions of North Africa from Allied assault. Alternatively, we don't wish to sign armistice with France. Mussolini assures us that his forces can ease the pressure remaining. Uh, yeah, right. Should we? Uh, yeah, we don't trust Mussolini. France surrenders, yes. Germany, ooh, 1416 MPP. Wow. Having occupied northern France, we now have access to an important naval bases, uh, base of St. Nazarene. Nazar, whatever. Um, this could be very useful for launching a new naval unit, but will require some investment on it. Prepared for use. Estimated cost is 50 at 10. Yes, I'll pay that. And it'll get us out um, here from Nance. No, the Lorient was, I think, the main base. Mm, yeah, that's where the headquarters was, I think. Okay. But that will allow us to drop in submarine units. Those ones that we can't get out of that. The Third Republic is abolished as Marshal Bataille becomes head of the Vichy French state. It's actually just head of um, the French state. Capital move to Vichy temporarily. Algeria declares loyalty to Vichy. Tunisian governor declares loyalty to Vichy France. Syria declares loyalty to Vichy. Franco swing towards the axis on the fall of France. Germany occupies the Channel Islands. That's these guys here. Germany acts, um, annexes Alsace. Seventh Armored Division formed in Egypt. Victorious German troops march. In Paris, Spanish forces enter the International Protectorate of Tangiers. Wish they had some events for that. The fall of France enables Spain to export wool from, which is tungsten and other goods, to Germany. UK prepares for a possible Axis invasion. We collect a lot and pay for the. My French is worse than my German, I think. UK recognizes the free French. BC France distances itself from Britain's support for General de Gaulle. US sends French aircraft orders to Canada and the UK. Many um, Vichy French aircraft were actually American made. US delivers aircraft to Liverpool. US delivers aircraft to Newfoundland. Um, because they had been shipped over before the fall of France and had yet to be assembled, so they had yet to be bombed. So Vichy puts, finishes putting the aircraft together. You know, they come over in, in major parts. And, you know, some assembly required kind of things. And so Vichy knew them for, for its existence. And actually bombed Gibraltar once um, after the Mares Al-Kabeb um, attack by the British Navy. Mentioned the British Navy. 
um, as a retaliatory strike. Okay, good, that hurt you a bit. Okay. Yep. Okay, Hungary joins the Axis Alliance. That's Admiral Horthy there in his um, naval uniform riding a horse. Um, the triumphant is seized at Plymouth and gives and given to the Free French Navy. Yes, um, the British sort of attack destroyers for bases, agreement, HMS Montgomery, permission at Scapa Flow. Um, the British sort of attack um, seas and actually there's some gun battles and what some reports in the British work um, try to take over um, French naval vessels. De Gaulle announces on the BBC that France has lost the battle. France has not lost the war. Yeah, you've lost the war. I don't care what you say. France has lost the war. France may be resurrected by the aid of its allies. Wow, a lot of stuff has happened. We've already gone over most of it. Seven, okay. Okay, the Mediterranean. Admiral Reader argues that with France defeated, we should aim to defeat the British through switching our main focus to the Mediterranean by advancing into Egypt and seizing the Suez Canal. We will strike an effective and painful blow the British, which could be followed up by a conquest of the whole Middle East. Success in Egypt would move Spain closer to joining the war. And if a victory in the region is coupled with a vigorous U-boat campaign against the British shipping, we could bring the UK to its knees and win the war. Recommendation, organize large-scale U-boat offensive against the UK as well as advance down Egypt. Yes, I agree. That is what we're going to attempt to do. And we have Panzer Grenadiers. Okay, well, seeing as how we are going to be moving... That way, let's send you to here. Okay. So. You don't need to be there. You can go here. Now they're getting snow up there. Well. Can't do reconnaissance, I guess. Or flight operations or something, okay. Not moving into their maximum because I think they're patrolling out here. So if I can, though well, they may be getting intelligence reports, if I can, I'm going to try to dash up and around, but not get them too close together. Nope. They've got anti-aircraft guns there, okay. Since that's very much no longer necessary.
don't know why they use these red crosses for Italy. I would have put something else. Something black and fascistic. Well, let's attack. Okay, that looks good. Now. This rain is going to slow our movement ability. Should move the Paris to threaten them. Britain. I th think let's move you guys to the Soviet border. Get them to properly strategic move cost in my opinion. Just generally speaking. Oh no hungry now, of course, yes. Oh, they have a 1930? Oh, well, yeah. That would go to the German crew of them. Well, let's close this and take a look at what we have here for Hungary as it is. Okay, well, we've got two armies and a core. Is that how expensive is it? Thank you, the same price, but it doesn't presume to market. Germany, but we're going to go back to Germany here because. Norway, but yeah. Now I'm not going to spend too heavily. We've got air coming. 41 here, of course. So that would be nice. And also for Italy. What we need to see about doing here is preparing some of these units.
don't know that every division needs to be full, but well, I'm deep and whatnot. I mean, the ones that really should have been manual cuts. Get them up there. This is very much an experiment for me just to see how. Things react here. Well, yeah, I think we need to move to the Mediterranean. Let's repair you. Might as well. Down here. Where are they? Right here. Okay. Now you guys start heading that way. Because we're going to head to France to be repaired. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much going lots here, but there may be events and other things that want money and I think this would be another opportunity to end this episode, uh not the stream, but this episode of Strategic Command World War Two, the War in Europe. So thanks so much for watching. Um if you would please like this video. And, of course, please post comments, questions, suggestions, ideas. I'd love to learn better um, how to play this game or just other topics. So, um, see you later for more Strategic Command. Again, this is just... No, no, Django, this is just me ending the episode that I'm recording. I'm keeping the streaming going. So, um, 